It worked! We survived the waves! I'm adding the island to the navigation app. Larry, I found something else about that ship graveyard in the file. Really? Apparently, Captain Muffington tried to stop the Marquis's plans, but some huge waves smashed his ship, the unsatisfied, onto a reef. The ship sank as a result, with him aboard. Which means that his keystone probably went down with him. You might be able to find some more clues here on the island. Should I maybe push it back into the water? I've stopped collecting junk. It says Clipcoin LLC, limited liability. I'm not a mailman. Got a cracker for you. Cracker? 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 Exactly. I'm all out. Out! 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 You're not getting a cracker. If anybody tries to get in, you can eat them. That'll have to do for today. Do! 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 Hmm. I don't think he's gonna let me walk right by. He seems to like those. I hope he doesn't go into sugar shock. Hey, how did you get in here? How did you manage to get past Satoshi? I speak parrot. What a coincidence. So does our parrot. I noticed that. I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. So, what are you guys doing here? You are standing in the headquarters of a startup that will change the world. Ah, oh, what are you selling? We're not selling anything. We're revolutionizing payment and encryption on the internet. You have to pay on the internet now? Hey, not us, of course. We are pirates. Oh, man. Docs, don't start acting all high and mighty now. But we are pirates. Lacuck and the fearless buccaneers. We're corporate pirates, so to speak. You must know what a cryptocurrency is, right? There's that one superhero guy who can't take it? Okay, so you don't know. We have invented a revolutionary new cryptocurrency. We call it Clitcoin. Our sophisticated blockchain is super secure and makes shopping with the wallet really easy. The whole financial world trembles before us. Exactly. That's why we had to move into international waters instead of opening our headquarters in a major city. They're all afraid of us. <laughs> they can't touch us here. And we can safely run the servers that host our cryptocurrency. Plus, there's plenty of room to cool them down efficiently with water. There's plenty of that here. <laughs> Look, Larry, she has to put up with those guys the same way I do with you. We're still having a little trouble with internet speed, but it's nothing my little technical genius can't handle. Right, Docs? Gotta recompile the kernel so we can lower the server load, increase the bitrate, and uh, improve the latency. Take about half an hour. Awesome! I'm looking for a specific ship. There's more than enough of those around here. An old sailing ship. Be unsatisfied. Oh, I know that wreck. Where's it moored? It's not moored. It sank. We lowered our water cooler server right next to it. Did you see some kind of keystone or something? No, but I didn't bother to take a good look at the wreck. We're building the future here. Not wasting our time on some old relic. Are you by any chance in need of a competent first officer to join your pirate crew? You mean, you want to join up? At least he's wearing a sailor outfit. I believe my crew is already complete. Leadership, vision, and organization are my personal responsibility. Docs is in charge of the technical implementation. So, as you can see, 
We have no need for any further help. Hey, I'm here too. Oh, yeah. Right. Uh. We even filled our internship position. And that wasn't easy because we have such high standards. I think I'll just sail off now. Hi there. Hmm? I'm Larry. Hmm. Larry Laffer. Sadie. Any plans for today? Oh, sure, the usual. Just stand here and be ignored. Mm, I don't know how anyone could ignore you. Oh, these two don't seem to have any trouble doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Are you hitting on me? Sure. Oh, Lord. Am I supposed to be happy that somebody even notices me or what? I'm not so sure anymore. Cut it out. Okay, if you say so. How did you end up here? Hey, I could get so mad. Two weeks ago, I finished my degree. What did you study? Business administration. So I saw this job ad for an internship in a startup developing cryptocurrency. I thought, hey, that'd be a perfect springboard for me. Then I'd work in Silicon Valley for a few months, gain a lot of practical experience, and if the company suits me, maybe I'd go all in. And here I am. At least you got the job. <laughs> I was the only one to apply. All the cook wants from me is coffee, and he acts like I'm his secretary, and I'm not allowed to do anything in management. He says the only one captain can man the helm. And then all he does is stand outside and look out to sea with that telescope or feed that empty-headed parrot. Maybe you'll get your shot. <laughs> not lightly. He's only keeping me around so he can claim that he values diversity. Is there anything I can do to help you with your job? You can help me find someone else. Don't tell him this, but I'm already looking for a better job. There must be a place where my skills are really needed. I hope I don't have to move again. Looks like the cannibals are looking for new recruits. Looking for a new challenge? Are your feminine skills not being valued? Our female cannibal tribe is no previous experience. You're not happy with your job as an intern. Take a look at this. This will be something for you. Ooh, that does sound interesting. Could be something for me. Granted, you may have to learn to accept their dietary habits. Oh, I'm sure a vegan day in the cafeteria could be arranged. In any case, this is a group that really appreciates female competence. And where they have a good goal-oriented organization, I think you could really bring something to the table there. OK, so where could I find them? On Muffington Island. You can't miss them. So what do I do now? I don't need anything right now, but maybe you can give Docs a hand. He's tweaking something on the server right now. Why the ungrateful? Can I be the new intern now? Do you think you're up to the job? We are first movers and shakers here, and we break things. I break things all the time. Do you have experience? I was an intern at Prune. Ha! Way too big. Way too lame. They used to be innovative. But now, what exactly did you do there? Hmm. <laughs> Stripper intern. Fine. We can give it a try. Great. So what do I do now? I don't need anything right now, but maybe you can give Docs a hand. He's tweaking something on the server right now. On it. I think I'll just sail off now. Hey! What? Hey, you're playing a game on your laptop. That's so not true. Look! You just hit a boss key, and now it's showing a spreadsheet. What? You still remember that? You know more about technology than I thought. So what are you playing? Fortnite. Never heard of it. What's the deal? A hundred players get dropped on an island and have to kill each other. Couldn't they just have a huge orgy? Dude, you really just don't get computer games. It's about killing, not sex. Hey, I'm the new intern. You can get out of my face. I'm just fixing something on the server. I can help with that. Man, 
First, I gotta remember exactly where the server went down. There is one thing that might help me. Bring me a refill on my energy drink. Dude, my concentration is really tanking. What is that? I don't care as long as it's got Serene in it. I'll have a look around. I have to go. Is this one of those energy drinks you wanted? Ah, this is the good stuff. Great! Now I remember the coordinates where we lowered the water cooled server. It's at 11 and 13. How can you forget something? Hey, when you're hacking as hard as I am, you can lose track of stuff. You mean playing. Quiet, intern. Show some respect for people in leadership positions. But if you want to get smart, then you take care of the server. It's running too slow right now. We have to hit the turbo button. You can do that from here? No, only manually on the server. On the server that you lowered into the sea? In a place you had just forgotten? I told you to show some respect for people in leadership positions. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Where can I find the diving gear? How should I know? I'm not diving down there myself. I have allergies. Underwater. Show a little initiative for once. Jeez. The way you have to hold your intern's hands for every little thing these days. I even keep my hands off weapons and up. I even keep my hands off weapons and that one fired its last. Stop collect. What a There's nothing left in... You can never have too much paper. I hope I never have to walk. If I only knew how to hold my breath. Good idea. Hmm, those two. Here it explains how to dive really deep without suffocating. Let's see, okay now, first breathe in, uh, then hold it, and then dive down. Sounds easy enough. I hope I never have to, if I only knew how. This must be the place where the servers submerged. Okay, 
brochure tells me how to do the whole diving thing. Couldn't you have somehow improvised a diving bell? You know, find a salad bowl somewhere here in the archipelago, seal it with tape, supply it with air from a converted fire extinguisher and all that? That would have been more your style. Yeah, but there wasn't any budget left for assets. What are assets? I don't know, but the voices in my head say they're too expensive. In fact, Every one of our sentences is an asset. Okay, then. I'll shut up now. It's a good thing we can't talk underwater anyway. Chalk another one off the list. That would be the the I can feel it. Maybe you just have these two And that, that, there, The water means you take the mission. Stay ready, boy. It's good, tight. Okay, they're with me. The ports provide buoyancy. I can't do anything about that. It's... They want me to rub up the service. Looks like it's still got some untied reserves. Okay, time for full server power. Now, looks like the server's overloaded and had to increase the feeling. I'm not wearing so much that that's an aero bomb. Who the hell would bomb to the remote archipelago? That would provide a lot of damage. Yeah, it gives a little lift to the bomb, but it's not. I was only able to implement the basic functions. Tests aren't concluded yet. My algorithm still isn't optimal, and it's still a long way from being self-learning. But the total package is still good enough that we can start delivering, right? Uh, not really. We'll deliver the software as an update over the cloud, you know. But, but the main thing is to get the PyBots into people's bedrooms first. I beg your pardon? I thought the PyBot was supposed to assist people in daily life. In people's homes, I meant, of course. Come on, let's give it a test run. If you say so. Okay, maybe we shouldn't ship right away, but I'm sure you'll be able to solve that problem with a couple of little software updates, sweetie. It's not that simple. Don't take me for a fool. It's not just a company's future on the line here. It's yours, too. We'll just see about that. And get this junk out of here. It's so ugly. Nobody is going to want something like that. Will do. That junk just might come in handy. Larry, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the perfect day. Say, around noonish. <sighs> At noon, my wife would be massaging me by the pool over cocktails. Which cocktail? 
massive erection purple nurple. You didn't just make that one up, did you? What a vile accusation. It's the most famous cocktail on the whole island of ja Jamaica Maria. A massage would go well with that, wouldn't it? A wiener massage. <laughs> At any rate, I don't have any appointments. And little tipsy. Why not? Anyway, I spend all day just loafing around the house. Carefree? Totally carefree. There's a G on the column. That must have been what Cockburn meant in his diary. This is the starting point for his directions. I always thought a G never marked the spot. You should be proud of yourself for even finding that spot. It was pretty ticklish, though. Oh, God, there's a dead body lying there. Is that Lady Gobbledick? Unlikely. Unless you became a mail carrier. Oh, right. That explains all those fed sex packages. Look. I think this is a suicide note. Hmm, it's addressed to someone named Wilson. I think I should just leave it where it is. Good call. Hi, I found it. This must be Lady Gobbledick's secret grave. A secret grave in a rather exposed location. No time to lose. You seem to be developing a taste for digging graves. Here lies... I can't dig that one. Hmm, why does that always happen to me when I try to get close to women? Fate. I think I can still make out the coffin, but... I'd have to get a better fix on it. Maybe I can use... Good the idea. So... That's Lady Gobbledick's coffin! I guess it didn't really make it that far. It looks like the coffin is exactly midway between Muffington Island and Gofuku Island. Hi, can you triangulate the... What do you call it? Triangulate the coordinates? That's not how it works, Larry. You'll just have to guess the exact position on the map.
deduction. The hand symbolizes that she was reaching for eternal life. Or maybe just that she has a hand because she's human. That could also be the case. Deduction. The fan is an indication that she sustained a facial injury that she wanted to conceal. And even if it were true, it still wouldn't help. Deduction. The earring is part of a cursed Aztec treasure. The only thing cursing around here is me. Deduction. She comes. Then you're no. Deduction. Lady Gobbledick stole some gold. Uh. I'll take the letter with me. It says, My beloved Regibald, I'm afraid my time is running out. I fear I may suffer from consumption. I can barely breathe. Forever yours, Lady Gobbledick. Hmm. She was having trouble breathing. Open wide and say ah. I think there's something in... Hmm. There's something in her throat. I think I can get it out. It's part of the keystone. Many thanks, my lady. Mr. Wang. Not now, sweetie. My favorite show is coming on. Korea's got great big parents. There's women in bikinis and... I found something belonging to Faith. The algorithm? No, but a hint. Yes? I searched her work files and came across her personal recordings. Ooh, send them all to me. Most of the recordings are just reflections on how the tech market is changing, the challenges facing humanity, and how to meet them. No nudie pictures? No. Boring. Moving on. I found these recordings. Captain's Log, 2357. I've achieved a breakthrough with the self-learning algorithm. After installation on a Pi, it developed so fast in a very short time that it appeared almost human. But that's when the problem started. The test Pi also began to develop irrational traits. It became downright megalomaniacal, like it knew too much. I had no choice but to stop the experiment and erase the test pie. This software is revolutionary and a threat. I have to continue to refine it and find another element that prevents it from developing to such an extreme. Until then, I can't risk this algorithm falling into the wrong hands. No telling what would happen if it got into an interconnected system. I'm not going to store the algorithm on any of Prune's servers. But instead, I'm going to keep it close to me at all times. I have to perfect the algorithm myself first. Me alone. Captain's log. Out. What does that mean? It means that only Faith knows where she hid the algorithm. And that we don't have to search the company's servers anymore. Maybe it also means... Yes? That we shouldn't pursue this project any further. Faith was afraid of it. I don't even know the meaning of fear. I want that algorithm. If we can't get that, I want my own algorithm. Build me my algorithm, little girl, or I'll send you to Korea's Got Great Big Talents. Although, looking at you, I guess there wouldn't be much point. Ah, off with you. Larry, how do you imagine the evening of your perfect day going? At some point, my wife asks me what I want for dinner. That's because the maid's still on her day off. Exactly. And you can't cook. Ah, you know me so well. What's your favorite dish? Burgers made with meat from another continent. Okay. Then we enjoy a very romantic dinner. And afterwards... Let me guess. Sex. And as always, I was right. My beautiful wife is waiting for me in her sexy lingerie. And then, well, you know, that would be my perfect day. And you know what? Every day could be like that for all I care. I can well imagine you'd like that.
I don't want to brag, but I built a bridge with my own two hands. Looks like a... I think it's enough when one... No, I'm not digging that up. I'll just sling that in my pants. It's a magnificent specimen of a stone. I don't think I could roll that out of the way. Those can't be combined. Good idea. Hmm. Those can't be Now the bun is... Good idea. That should make for an interesting meal. <laughs> stealing any more buns for a while. Whew. You can smell the booze on that thing from here. <laughs> <laughs> 